Hi, my name is Beverly and I'm with the Casita Chattahoochee County Public Library. Uh, today we are going to be learning about the La Salle Cave that was discovered in France on September the 12th, 1940. We have a few books here at our Casita Branch Library. Uh, we have some nonfiction books that are based on caves and the animals that live in and around them. Here's a nonfiction work, uh, Woolly Mammoths and Chronicles of Dinosaurs and Humans. This has a very good timeline of history uh, from the prehistoric past that is available at our ranch. And then we have a couple of nonfiction books. Uh, this one we just got in, Cave Boy is Bored. It's a chapter book for children and Cave Kid Birthday Party for our younger viewers. It's a really cute book and also involves um, living in caves and cave people. But today we are gonna focus on the discovery of the really cool cave with the drawings that was made in France. This book is a step four reading book. It's called Discovery in the Cave. Because it's such a long book, we've picked just a little selection to read for you about the actual discovery. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Hey, Discovery in the Cave. This is by Mark Dabowski. And we're picking up at chapter two. Chapter two is called Discovery. Robot, someone shouts. A dog barks. His name is Robot. The person who called him is Marcel Ravidat. He is 17 years old. Marcel and Robot are in a forest near Marcel's home in France. The boy and the dog have been here before, hunting rabbits. Today, they are hunting for something else. It is September the 12th, 1940. Marcel and Robot have come to the forest with three of Marcel's friends. Marcel wants to show them something Robot found while they were hunting. The boys catch up with Robot. They are at the trunk of a large tree that has fallen to the ground. The roots of the tree are torn from the soil. Where the tree stood, there is now a deep hole but the hole is deeper than the roots of the tree. The boys dig to make the hole bigger. Marcel thinks this might hold buried treasure. That's enough digging, says Marcel. He holds something, a tool from his uncle's garage, a grease gun. Marcel strikes a match and holds the flame to the tip of the gun. The grease catches fire and burns like a candle and Marcel disappears down the hole. Robot whines, where is Marcel? The other boys look into the hole. Come on, Marcel is standing in the light of the torch, 10 feet down. Marcel's friends tumble in after him. The hole is dark and cool, at the bottom of a tunnel with walls made of clay. The tunnel does not go straight down, but it is steep. Marcel leads the way. The four boys are walking underground, deep beneath the forest. After a while, the walls of the tunnel change. Instead of clay, they are now made of limestone, a kind of rock. The path becomes less steep. Then they are out of the tunnel and inside a cave. The floor is slippery and wet. The boys watch their step. Marcel notices something strange. Above their heads, the walls of the cave are covered with calcite, a bright white mineral. Marcel lifts his torch, looks up, and gets a big surprise. Someone was here before them. Above their heads, the white walls of the cave are decorated with large paintings of animals, horses, stags with horns as big as tree branches, huge animals that look like oxen. Some are standing. Others look as if they are running through the cave, charging along the edge of a high cliff. Outside, a warplane crosses the sky. It is a German Messerschmitt. France is at war. Emily's soldiers have moved into French cities. When the boys come out of the cave, they are worried, for now the cave is theirs. They found it. What will happen if other people find out about it? But they are also excited. A secret like this is hard to keep. They think of one person they can trust. Someone who knows a lot about old caves, Monsieur Leon Laval. 
Monsieur Laval is a former science teacher. The boys talk to him and they take him into the cave. Monsieur Laval has seen cave paintings before, but not like these. Look at the way the animals are drawn, he tells the boys. The faces are turned slightly to make the paintings look less flat and more real. Some of the animals are carefully drawn over bulges in the rock wall that are shaped like the animal's bodies. On the floor, they find chips of animal bone and rock powder that were used to make paint. The things they find in the paintings are very old. The science teacher tells other people about the cave. Other experts are informed and they come from all over the world to see it. Before long, the cave at LaSalle is famous. Over the years, the cave has changed. Men build a smooth path inside. They put in electric lights. They add a door to the entrance. They put in machines that control the air in the cave. In 1963, the cave at La Salle was closed to visitors. Exposed to air and light, the paintings were fading. Now visitors enter a model, a life-size copy of the front cave. Partly underground, it is made of cement. The walls are shaped exactly like the walls of the real cave and decorated with exact copies of the paintings. In the real cave, the paintings are back in the dark the way they were for thousands of years before they were found by four boys and a dog. The end. And I hope you enjoy our cave painting demonstration and making your own cave paint. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Molly. I'm from the Casita Chattahoochee Valley Public Library. And today we're gonna learn a little bit about cave drawings, Lascaux Les cave drawings. So today is September 12th, and on September 12th, 1940, these cave drawings, the Lascaux cave drawings, were discovered by four teenagers and a dog. So it kind of show, goes to show you that you're never too young to discover something. So these, these teenagers discovered these cave drawings. They followed their dog into the cave and they discovered them. So we're gonna learn a little bit about the cave drawings today through a book. But during this craft, we're going to learn how to actually mix some sand and create the drawings ourselves. All right, so I went through and collected some sand outside. So you can go around your house and collect a bunch of different sand. Today I have some different types. So I have some black sand, I have some brown sand, and I have some a little bit like a mixture of the two. So I'm gonna mix my sand with my shortening to create this kind of muddy kind of texture that is similar to what the cave, the cave drawing, the people who, who did the cave drawings, the Lascaux um, tribe, what they used for their drawings. All right, so I have, I have my sand, I have my shortening, I have some cups that I'm gonna do the mixture in. And I also have some paint, so if you all, if you wanna add some paint in for the color, you can do that as well. This is not necessary, but you can do that. And I also have um, some paint brushes. So if you have a paint brush that's a little bit older, it's probably better to use because it might get ruined. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a cup. You can have a bowl if you want, if you have a bowl. I'm going to get some dirt. I'm going to put in a spoonful of dirt. I'm going to put two spoonfuls of dirt in. I'm going to use a different spoon to get my Crisco. My shortening. get the dirt in the Crisco. And then you're just going to mix it up.
there it looks a little muddy looks a little um too tough for me to be paint so i'm gonna mix it i went and got some water i'm gonna mix it a little bit with this water and see if i get a more like painty texture to it just pour it in just a little bit some tempera paint that's what I'm using you can see it looks a little blue might not have a better tell from the video Make sure you're in an area where you can make a mess. Because this, this project's gonna be very messy. Remember, when you do the Crisco, make sure you use a clean spoon.
show you a quick sketch of something that you might have seen if you were to go to this cave. They painted a lot of animals, and then I just have the, a little thing there to represent the sun. All right, so I hope you enjoy it, and you can see all the, the little, it's more gritty than regular paint, um, because it has that muddy kind of texture to it. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day. You're good. Kind of a hand outline if you put your hand down and then put the messy stuff around your hand then when you pull your hand up you'll have that empty space see like the little on my fingers use the rest and fill in the background a bison and then some hand prints that are semi okay um, just experiment with it and see what works for you
90% of brain growth happens before kindergarten, 90%. So talk, sing, read, write, and play with your child every day. Those five simple steps build the foundation for a lifetime of learning. Thank you.